What's up guys, welcome back. Today I've got a, a watch video, which I know typically don't get a ton of views here on my channel, but this one was loaned in by a buddy of mine, Bobby Legs, and he has a really great channel that's growing pretty quickly, and he's got some very cool stuff on it. So he sent this out and wanted me to check it out. So I wanted to do this, the presentation box on this watch is pretty incredible. And for a relatively, uh, I'm not gonna say it's in the affordable range. I mean, it's affordable, right? That's a, that's a whole different video. What's an affordable, what's a mid-range, and what's a luxury watch? This I would call in the mid-range. This is in that 12, you know, 100-ish dollar range. So you get a nice, Cardboard plastic box, cardboard box um, with a really nice wooden lacquered uh, presentation box. And the lights are playing a little bit on it, but with a push button opening or push button latch, it doesn't spring open. But I mean, it's just presentation is important. Written up here on the top is inspired by the past, driven by the future. I think is a great little tagline. And then you pull out this Biotech Leviathan. I think that's how you pronounce it. Biotech or Biotech, not sure, but whatever, right? So let me just set this to the side, put away this box here real quick. Really nice kind of bluish purple. It's just super well done. And I thought it was worth mentioning the box, right? When you're spending you know, that $12, $13, $1,400 hundred price tag, you appreciate the packaging, right? I mean, I know I do. When I buy a knife that's $1,000 custom, $2,000 custom, and it comes wrapped in some bubble wrap in just a cardboard box with a rubber band around it, you know, it's a little disappointing because presentation is important. So anyway, we've got this Biotech Leviathan. Uh, it is a 40 millimeter case with a 50 millimeter lug to lug, 20 millimeter lug width. The brace does not taper down and it is a, a butterfly clasp. Not my favorite type of uh, clasp, but it works and it works well and it looks really nice. And it's a signed, um, I guess you'd call it the signed buckle. Um, so what it does with the butterfly clasp is it makes it just look like there is no clasp. So it, it is a nice look. It's just personally putting it on and taking it off uh, is not my favorite thing, but, but it works just fine. Uh, and it is 14.8 millimeters thick to the top of the domed sapphire crystal that does have some anti-reflective coating. This is a 300 meter water resistant watch made in Slovakia using a Salita SW200 premium movement and sized a little bit bigger than my seven and a quarter and I did not resize it, but I'll show you a wrist shot here in just a minute. It weighs in at 6.6 .6 ounces or 187 grams. And I guess the thing nowadays is to measure the crown and this is a seven millimeter crown. So let's kind of zoom in on this because it's really a nice looking watch. I just, when Bobby sent me some pictures and said, hey, do you want to check this out? At first he just kind of said, hey, do you want to check out this watch? And I was like, well, yeah, okay, what watch is that? Because I wasn't familiar with the name. So he sent me a couple of pictures and I was like, dude, yeah, I, I actually do want to check it out. Um, so I'm going to put a link to his channel down below also, as well as a link to the Biotech website or Biotech, to the watch website, okay? It, it has a rotating bezel. And I think I didn't count it. So it's a 120 click bezel that sounds really good. A lot of grip. I mean, there could be a little more traction around the side, but it works really well. 
and it actually lines up at the 12 o'clock. So that's always nice. Got the day window, has really nice loom around the uh, hands, the second hand and the indices. And the indices are kind of, they're, they're very much like the shield of the 12 o'clock for their logo. And let me just move the hands a little bit so we can see that uh, logo a little bit better at the 12 o'clock. So really, we've got the nice shield there at the 12 o'clock, which is fully loomed. And then you have little shields around for the hour markers. And then there is a minute track inside on the um, chapter ring. Kind of at a you know, little brain fart there. So, I mean, just a really done watch. And the second hand really kind of hits all of them nicely. You can see there's some, kind of looks like a blue AR coating, probably just on one side of the crystal. So it is a single domed sapphire because there is some refraction of the dial there at the extreme angles. But all in all, this is really a premium watch. Really nice polishing around the case polished and brushed on the uh, bracelet. On the case back, it has, you know, more of their logo and then it says made in Slovakia. It talks about the water resistance um, and a few other things around the edge of the case back. So all in all, this is really a nice watch. So let me give you a quick wrist shot. And again, I did not size this, it came sized for whoever had it last um, if they sized it I, I don't know but um, see again it takes a second to put the butterfly clasp on so here it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist and it is a little big but it it's big because it's not sized the watch head itself fits perfectly fine I am totally fine with the 187 gram weight I like some heft to my watch. I like it. I like to be able to feel it throughout the day um, just because that's how I like my watches. So I think this is really a nice piece. And even the butterfly clasp is totally milled out. So it's, there's nothing cheap on this watch at all. So the only size comparison that I have here is my G-Shock Square, because I didn't bring anything else out of the watch box, so sorry. Again, I don't do a lot of watch videos, so I totally forgot to grab something, but here it is next to a G-Shock Square. And since we're gonna do some loom, we'll leave that guy here. And we'll uh, also, just because I love to pull out the loom monster, we'll pull him out there too. And we'll give you guys a loom shot and close you out with that. So it's really cool. It's a really nice green loom. It's, and the uh, bezel is also loomed here on that first 20 minutes. So really good job. I think it's, yeah, that's you know pretty much showing in the camera what I'm seeing to the naked eye. So it's, it's a pretty good loom on this for sure. This G-Shock was not quite in the light the way it was sitting on the table, so it didn't get fully charged. Um, but you can see there's a little bit of loom there. And because I'm really a knife channel, here's the Spider Code Delica that glows in the dark that I use for all my size comparisons. So and I don't get a lot of opportunity to show you guys the loom on that. So thought I would just throw that in. So thanks a lot, guys. I greatly appreciate it. I will see you on the next vid.